This Week in Health, we will start learning about the brain and really all the cool things the brain does for our body. Today, I'm sharing a book. The brain is kind of a big deal. Let's check out and see some of the cool things that the brain does for us. The Brain is Kind of a Big Deal, written and illustrated by Nick Selleck. Inside of your head, behind your eyes, and under your hair is one of the coolest things about you, your brain. Your brain is the command center of your entire body, a living computer. It's constantly collecting and storing new information about everything you experience. That way, the next time you experience the same thing, your brain will know exactly what to do. Without your brain, you wouldn't be able to read and understand these words or even turn the page. Sure, for you, turning the page seemed easy, but your brain had to move a lot of different muscles in just the right way to make that happen. Your brain works really hard all the time without you even knowing it. Great work, muscle. I just needed to flex a bit. Smart stuff. Scientists have been learning about the brain for a very long time but they still don't know everything. It's so complex, we may never learn all there is to know, but scientists will never stop trying to discover more. Within your brain are five sections called lobes. Each lobe does something a little different, but the parts all work together too. Don't worry, you don't need to have to remember their names. Frontal lobe, parietal lobe, occipital lobe, temporal lobe, insular lobe. The brain is made up of billions of things called neurons. They talk to one another by sending messages through gaps called synapses. When your brain's neurons work together to help your body take action, you can do all kinds of compli complicated things. Synapse, message. I'm sending you a message, pass it along. I'm sending you a message, pass it along. Got it. Once a message leaves the brain, it travels through long stringy nerves. Nerves are like roads. They connect the brain to everything else in the body. I'm getting pumped just watching this. Your brain also uses nerves to get messages back from the rest of your body. If you get a paper cut or scrape your knee, a nerve will let your brain know very quickly. Ouch, tell brain, brain, it's nerves, ouch, ouch. Got it, nerve, thanks. Eyes, time to do your thing. Your brain connects to the rest of your body through the nervous system. The nervous system is made up of your brain, brain stem, spinal cord, and nerves. Brain, brain stem, nerves, spinal cord. Your body is full of this weird stuff. Your brain makes your body do a lot of important things that keep you alive without you even thinking about it. Like telling your heart to beat and crash, bam, do a steady beat. Da -da -da -dum. Perfect. Your brain tells your lungs to breathe. Breathe, gas, huff. Now do that forever. Smart stuff, involuntary versus voluntary. When your brain does something for your body that you don't have to think about, it's called an involuntary function. 
You can cho choose to make your brain do stuff too. When you want, when you do something because you want to, that's voluntary function. Your brain tells you when you need to eat. Your stomach and gut send messages to your brain and your brain decides when you're hungry or full. I'm ready for more food. Hey, I'm the one who has to do all the work. You just want to, things to taste good. It's okay, stomach. I know you're full, so we won't eat anymore. What about ice cream? There's always room for ice cream. Are you tired right now? If you are, your brain is getting messages from your body that you need to sleep soon. When you, when you sleep, your brain and body get a lot of much needed rest. While you dream, your brain gets ready for the next day. Sometimes it dreams about weird stuff. Now it's time to move on to even more fun stuff. The stuff that makes you you. Read a book, check. Eight hours of sleep, check. Time to get up. Your brain helps you turn thoughts into words so you can say or write what you're thinking. When you talk and write in a way that other people understand, you're using language. Remember how the brain collects information like a computer and keeps it for later? Your brain is really good at using this information to figure stuff out, along with the senses. When you see something, a message is passed from your, the back of your eyes to the very back of your brain. When the brain gets the message, the images are actually upside down and backward. Your brain is a good problem solver, though. Look what we saw. What? It goes this way. Oh, that makes more sense. Your ears are always listening. When you hear something, whether it's the ocean or a song or a burp, your brain has to work to understand it. The sounds that you hear are made into messages that are sent to your brain. Then your brain tells you what the sound is. It sounds kind of buzzy. Don't tell me, don't tell me. It's a fly. Anytime you feel with your senses of touch, like something soft or wet, messages are sent to your brain. When you touch something, your brain's experience can be really useful, especially if whatever you've touched is sharp or too hot. Then your brain can help you avoid it to keep you safe. Abort, don't touch that. Remember last time? When a smell enters your nose, a message is sent to your brain. Your brain will then know if the smell is good or bad, or if you have smelled it before. Hey, smell this. It smells horrible. Later, hey, smell this. I'm not falling for that again. Your brain is especially good at remembering sp smells. When you taste something, your brain gets messages about the different flavors from your tongue. Then your brain decides if it likes the taste or not. So, I love it. Your sense of taste has a lot to do with your sense of smell. Your brain uses your nose even more than your tongue to decide if something tastes good. Something Italian? Pizza! It smells delicioso! Your brain is also in charge of telling your muscles and body exactly how to move. When you run, your brain gives your body very specific instructions. Okay, muscles, move the left leg. Now the right, don't fall. When you're in danger, your brain is firing messages all throughout your nervous system to make movement happen. Watch out for the bear. Wait, bear, run!
By now, you know that your brain is always collecting information like a computer. All that information is stored in your memory. Your brain searches through all that information so you can find a memory when you need it. A new memory is kept by your brain for about 30 seconds before it's forgotten. This is called short-term memory. If you repeat something enough times or if it's really important, that short-term memory could turn into long-term memory. Long-term memories last, you guessed it, a long time. Don't worry, your brain will never stop making new memories. So keep learning. Something the brain is really, really good at is thinking. Thinking and thinking and thinking. Your brain is thinking about things pretty much all the time. You can imagine things and solve problems just by thinking about them. Every invention that people ever, ever created from rockets and medicine to toilets and pizza came from thinking about ways to make things better. Did you know your feelings like love come from your brain too? Oh, I love love. You have nothing to do with it. You feel happy, sad, angry, or scared without ever having to learn how. You can control how you react when you feel something, but your feelings happen no matter what. Brain is sad. Are you crying? Yes, nice work. Your brain is pretty important. It helps you make sense of the world around you. It tells your heart to pump, blood to the rest of your body, and your lungs to breathe so you can stay alive. It moves your body and helps you talk, see, and hear. Your brain is in charge of all the thoughts, feelings, and memories that make you, you. Looks like brain is having a party. Now have you, now you have great taste. Hooray for brain! Put me down, please. That's kind of a big deal.